My Story, A Child with HIV Many years ago, I visited a new family in my village. I saw Chiku breastfeeding baby Elena. She was small and thin. Chiku told me that Elena was always sick and I could see a white patch on her tongue. I suspected that Elena was living with a human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. The immune system protects the body against infections. HIV weakens the immune system. If it is not treated, the virus can damage the immune system so severely that it cannot fight off other serious diseases like tuberculosis or TB or pneumonia. These are examples of opportunistic infections, illnesses that occur more often and are more severe in those who have a weakened immune system. When the immune system is severely damaged, HIV is called the Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS for short. If AIDS is not treated, it will lead to death. Knowing all this, I was very worried about Elena. I did a thorough assessment and looked out for common signs and symptoms of HIV, such as persistent fevers, frequent infections, poor weight gain, or stunting. Elena had some of these. She also had enlarged lymph nodes, and the white patch on her tongue was oral thrush. As HIV can be transmitted from a mother with HIV to her infant during pregnancy, labor and delivery, and from breastfeeding, I referred both Elena and Chiku to the health facility for HIV testing and treatment. I also advised Chiku's husband to get tested, as in adults, HIV is usually transmitted through unprotected sexual intercourse. A week later, the family returned from the health facility. Their HIV results were positive. I told Chiku and her husband that their family's HIV status is confidential and I would not tell anyone unless they gave me permission. They were prescribed antiretrovirals, or ARVs, which are medications to treat HIV. It is important that HIV is treated and that the patient takes their medications every day without missing a dose. If treatment is not taken in this way, the virus will continue to multiply, resulting in a high viral load, which means there is a lot of virus in the body. When this happens, the immune system cannot fight against infections, and the person can get frequent and serious infections like TB, pneumonia, and other serious diseases. When Chiku decided to tell her neighbors about her HIV status, they would not talk to her as they said that they did not want to get sick too. This was a hard time for Chiku. I told her that sadly, some people still have negative attitudes and fears about those with HIV. As a respected community health worker in my community, I realized that it was my responsibility to help educate the neighbors about the facts of HIV AIDS. Slowly, as they understood more, they began speaking to Chiku again and are now teaching others the facts about HIV AIDS. I also encouraged Chiku to help her family take their medications properly and not give up. As the days went by, Elena's health started improving. A few months later, I saw Chiku buying bread. In her arms was a healthy, well-nourished, happy little girl. Elena was thriving. HIV is preventable and treatable. As community health workers, we have an important responsibility to encourage early testing and treatment, especially in women. This will greatly reduce the transmission of HIV from a mother to her child, 
and help those with HIV live a healthier life.